what's up? It's Korea Foodie Hacker. Today, I visit all this way to find out Michelin star noodle house Luke Martin, one of the famous foodie YouTuber. I got it after watching his video. I really appreciate to him. It's been a so long time here, Dongdaewon. After finish the restaurant he had visited, I show you very unique ramen house and then compare together. Hopefully, we get some unique and fantastic noodle. Guys, let's get it. Finally, I found North Korean noodle house right there, guys. Pyongyang cold noodles three generations in a row. I'm just wondering what it tastes like. Wow, the media really love them. They got Michelin star again this year. What a great job! Right now, inside this quiet and slack because of COVID-19. Now the number of confirmed cases is in Korea is increasing again. We have no idea when it's likely to be finished. Okay, let's choose some dish first. Okay, I choose cold noodle and these three pieces of dumplings. Pork and beef, boiled egg on the top. Super clean and pure meat broth around them. It just looks like a clean water from the outside. I wonder what the real taste is. Oh, it's thicker than I thought, and it tastes like beefy and porky flavor at the same time, and then I kill these cold noodles. Oh, the pork with scent, which is cool and fragrant with meat broth, and the elastic and chewy noodles and super harmonious. Honestly, I had some prejudice that Pyongyang naengmyeon just tastes bland, but I have no prejudice from today. Oh, I forgot to add something. If I add pepper powder and vinegar like this, Oh, personally, I really love this flavor with red pepper powder and tiny bit of vinegar. Wow. There are a lot of tofu and meat inside. If I enjoy only cold noodles, I feel a little emptiness. That's why I ordered dumplings of the side dish. Oh, this North Korean style dumplings, it's really light and clean, savory because it has tofu inside. The leg is a little thicker, it's a little less succulent because there's a lot of stuff, ingredients inside. Anyway, I really love this texture. Even if it's dry, it can be upgraded with this meat broth. Oh, it's amazing! Alright, I finished up all eating. My tummy is really warm and full now. I'm going to take a break time with my haircut and then let's keep going, guys!
Hey guys, I cut my hair and then took a break for a while. Do I look younger with my short hair? Now, besides having supposedly unconventional Korean noodles, next place also has another popular dish called Pyongyang style cold pork with noodles with bacon. I'm just really excited that taste. Guys, follow for me. Finally, I found a unique noodle house. I do kiosk ordering first. Wow, I really love this yellow interior. It is not customary, but it feels super cozy. Does it suit the concept of this noodle house, right? Wow, guys, look at this visual. Shred egg garnish, white radish on the top, bacon and meat broth around them. First, I tried this bacon after dipping the soup. Oh, first of all, it's pretty thin, so it's very easy to chew. The flavor is ridiculously mellow, fabulous, and it's so spongy. If I wrap with bacon like this, Wow, it's super al dente, silky, it's nutty, meaty because of the high pork with content. Normally, North Korean style pork with noodles, they don't have too much ingredients inside. It's most gone the sour flavor because of the addition of bacon and it feels like it's adding a sweet and mellow smell. It's definitely customary to serve this broth. Compared to previous Michelin star North Korea coordinator house, this is a little bit more savory, nutty, sweet flavor. I don't know that cold noodles and bacon are super harmonious. Wow, I really love you. These cold pork with noodles are some of the most unique, flavorful, fragrant noodles I've ever had. Holy moly! Guys, look at this beautiful visual, tomato, potato sticks, sprouts on the top, beef curry sauce around them. This potato stick goes well with curry sauce, right? First, I try this tomato. Wow, it's super sour and sweet, succulent at the same time. Oh, the noodle is so plump and super tender. The combination of beef and curry sauce are also so unique. I thought french fries would only match with ketchup, but they also match with beef curry. The Acidity of tomatoes and flavor of beef is flavored in all the right ways. It's like my eyes and all my senses are just swirling in the tomato and fried potatoes, beef curry. I'm super happy that I can taste all kinds of flavors at the same time. This is absolutely going on my noodle must try list. Well, guys, that pretty much wraps up my unique noodle tour. I mean, this is my most impressive noodle tour ever spent over two restaurants and meat so far. Flavor-wise, I love Pyongyang cold pork with noodles with bacon. Texture-wise, I love curry noodles with tomato and beef. 
He won the game me the first most which I have to say is Noodles are absolute art. Do you want to know Noodle adventure in detail? I've listed all the places in my de description box below. Guys, thank you so much for following me. Oh, I'm sorry, but let me cut here.